Hi, welcome to NPA teaching. Today we are going to discuss about the pre-experimental research design. Pre-experiments are the simplest form of design where either a single group or multiple groups are observed in response to some treatment or intervention of an independent variable which is presumed to be the cause of change. It is the simplest form of experimental research design and is treated with no control group. These designs are called pre-experimental because they often happens before a true experiment is conducted. Thus this design is usually conducted as a first step toward establishing the evidence for or against an intervention. There are three types of pre-experimental design namely one short study design one group pre-test post-test design and static group comparison. In the case of one short case study pre-experimental research design, a single experimental group is exposed to a treatment and then observations are made after the implementation of that treatment. Thus it is studied at a single point in time after some treatment that is presumed to have a cause of change. No control or comparison group is present in this case and there is no pretest is conducted. In this type of experimental study, only one dependent variable or group or individual is considered. The study is carried out some treatment or intervention and then see the effect of this intervention which is assumed to be the cause of change. Thus making this research design a post-test study only. No comparison or pre-test is conducted in this case. Consider one example that is one wants to determine whether a tuition to the students other than teaching from schools and its effect on exams grade. A group of children are then chosen and these students are subjects or dependent variable while tuitions are the independent variable treated on the subjects. At the end of the semester or year, these children's grades are pretty good. The problem is that one does not know whether without this tuition, these students can perform well. One does not even know whether the tuition have been improved as we, ha as we are not conducting any pretest. Thus, it cannot be said that tuition leads to increased grades of these children. Thus, important limitations of this design is that without any comparison group. It is impossible to determine if the outcome scores are higher than they would have been without the treatment. And without any pretest score, it is impossible to determine if any changes within the group itself has taken place. Now consider the second model that is one group pretest post test design where a single case is observed at two time points. The first is before the treatment and the second one is after the treatment. Changes in the outcome of interest are presumed to be the result of an intervention or treatment. In this case, pre and post tests are considered but there is no control group to which we can compare with experimental group. See, this research design combines both post-test and pre-test study of the intervention. That is, the test on single group before the treatment is administered and after the treatment is administered. Whether the former is being administered at the beginning of the treatment and the later is at the end of the treatment. Accordingly, we can isolate the effects of an intervention or treatment on the selected group. Consider an example, see a man before the treatment and see what is his condition and now we are going to put the treatment in the form of taking protein powder and after this treatment see the situation of the man and he became much stronger than before and his muscles were also became strong. So we can understand the effect of the treatment on the man by conducting pre and post test treatments conditions. However, we can't ensure that this change is due to only taking protein powder and also there is no comparison group to which we can compare with the experimental group. In a static group comparison study, 
two or more groups are placed under observations where only one of the group is subjected to some kind of treatment while other groups are held static all the groups are post tested and the observed differences between the groups are assumed to be the result of the intervention participants are then test after receiving the treatment as such there is no pre test see here two already existing or intact groups are used rather than being randomly formed groups one of which received the treatment that is experimental group and other does not receive the experimental treatment which is control group a post test results are then determined to measure the differences after the treatment between the two groups as you can see this study does not include any pre testing and therefore any differences between two groups prior to the studies are uncertain or unknown for example an experimental study where we want to compare the effects of the conventional and new teaching methods in the process of imparting knowledge or knowledge formation among the students by utilizing a static group comparison design where the conventional or traditional way of lecture was treated on the control group while new teaching methods were treated on the experimental group the results of both groups after experiments were compared and the results of post test scores in the experimental group is increased statistically and showing the significant than control group then we can conclude that new teaching methods are much better and is feasible alternative to the traditional or conventional teaching method the important limitations of this research design is that there is no pre test so it is impossible to establish whether any group differences are due to the experimental manipulation or treatment or it is pre existing differences and also these groups are not truly comparable because the experimental and control groups were determined by factor other than randomly assignment which is very serious limitation of this study i hope you are clear about the pre experimental research design and its types namely one shot study design single group pre test and post test design and static group comparison design along with its limitations in the next video we will discuss about the true experimental research design have a nice day and see you in the next video thank you